Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This amendment would require all COVID-19 related national states of emergency to be lifted before Title 42 is officially terminated. The bill, uh, the amendment would ensure the administration coordinates and communicates with border communities and puts a comprehensive workable plan in place before lifting Title 42. The amendment specifically delays the administration's planned end to Title 42 for at least 60 days. You know, after the end of the national emergency, the Department of Homeland Security, in consultation with border states, would have up to 30 days to submit to Congress a plan to address the impacts of the post-Title 42 migrant influx. I believe the Biden administration was wrong to set an end date on Title 42 without a comprehensive plan. I'm particularly glad that a federal judge agreed that ending Title 42 would place irreparable harm on our communities. The administration has declared the pandemic over, over at the border. It allows the entry of illegal immigrants and movement throughout the country. Still, Many federal restrictions remain in place for healthcare workers, for our military, for legal travelers that are trying to come into our country. Restrictions remain in place, including for critical H-2A visa holders, which creates huge headaches and challenges for our nation's farmers who are already hurting for labor. Let me give you an example. We're allowing illegal immigrants into the country and distributing them throughout the United States with little regard to testing or vaccine status. And yet, farmers are being challenged and not being allowed to help legal visa holders, legal H-2A visa holders, into the country and receive vaccines in the United States. It's something we did last year, it worked very successfully. We should be able to do it again. The administration, I don't think, can have it both ways. If, if they think it's safe to lift Title 42 at the border, then it should be safe to lift the COVID state of emergency for the entire country. I think we all agree on many things, and one of them is that our southern border is at a crisis point. Particularly looking at today's Supreme Court decision regarding the Remain in Mexico policy, which will now be up to the the administration has the ability to end that policy. If you add on top of that the removal of Title 42, Madam Chair, we may as well put up a large green light at our border, inviting people to come. Our communities, our country, will bear the brunt of this decision if Title 42 is lifted without a plan without a response, without an ability for the Border Patrol to do their job. So I believe it is up to us as a people's representatives to take action if the administration won't and to step up. And this amendment is one step in the right direction and I would urge a yes 